Hello everyone, Maggie here with some for honor. So recently on my last warning video, there were a lot of Round criticism one. about shoulder bash, understandable, it's an obnoxious move to face. So I decided to roll one more video with no shoulder bash warden. So I haven't been playing in a while. Okay. Ow. Ow. Eh. He's baiting me. Oh, the reach. Reap Warden. <clears throat> uh, I need to warm up a bit. I haven't been playing in days, to be honest. I've been playing some Neo, single player. Kind of ate through the game real quick. Okay. Not gonna go for Paris here. There you go. No moving, huh? Yeah, without shoulder brush, I should have. Side dodged. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah, you can react to it. Oh, wow. Nice. You can't react to it. There you go. Victory. Man, risky. <laughs> it's so difficult with Warden without shoulder brush. Because, I mean, if the opponent is very focused, the top and blockable is sadly reactable. Also, I can also faint it pretty late to make it harder. But it's, it's kind of hard, kind of tricky. Okay. Okay, he always goes there after the stunning one. Oh man, I was about to shoulder bash there. <laughs> ah! He gone. Yeah, it's second time he goes for the predator. Goes for the predator again. Of course, I'm reading you, boy. Did you see? So, something you can go back into the video and notice. Every time I land uh, a side light and I go for an heavy afterwards, side heavy is something I did, I think, a couple times between the first and second round. He always parried heavy. Round. I noticed, and so both of these times I actually fainted the heavy into a guard break. You see? Uh, mind games, if you will, without shoulder brush, <laughs> but not so effective though, because you can just block, right? He actually seems to go for a lot of parries on heavies. No, come on, that was so close. I'm gonna throw an heavy here. Oh, I see. Like this. I'm in top stance, I can get this and this. And you're down, boy. If the game doesn't bug out somehow. Good fight, good fight. Alright, I'm getting back into it. Enjoyable game. Okay, this guy went Tiandi now, and his Tiandi is much higher a rep than his Shaolin. It's gonna be troublesome. Yeah. That's right, I cannot punish it without shoulder rush, right? Mm. I hate how the garbage actually bounced off. Uh. Of 
course. Hmm. Ah, palm strike. There you go, no option select for you, boy. He's option selecting with his zone. <clears throat> Quite a bit. Man, this was risky, this was risky. So what did I notice? I don't know, option select with its zone. Uh, what else? Palm strike happy. Doesn't... He seems to go for an heavy on palm strike with. Which makes it very hard for me to punish. Why do I keep doing that though? That's risky. Regrab. Regrab a third time. Nope. Risky. Good one. I thought I dodged that one. Hmm. Damn it. Ah. Don't think I've landed a single hit here. Oh, come on, man. What the hell? Why did that bounce off? I managed to bait him. Uh, I know, I mean, I know why he bounced off. Because he... Went for an heavy pretty early Round into it. Uh, <clears throat> you have to go for a double read there. No. Not this session. Okay. Gotta start punishing that. Gotta start punishing those with palm strikes with guard break since he always goes for an heavy because it's you know it's safer on the surface. You <clears throat> if he goes for an heavy, he can faint it if he sees I'm gonna parry it. <laughs> nah, I'm sorry, not this video, man. I mean, anyway, shoulder brush is gonna risk against the Andy. Good one. Mm, why am I dumb? Because I think that's palm strike, but it cannot be palm strike, of course. My punish. Uh, uh, it bounces off. It bounces off. <laughs> Kinda annoying since you know I I go for the heavy faint right away. But of course he has more time because he's not in it stand enough. He has more time because I have to go heavy faint garbage. Takes a while. 
while he just, after the double side light, he just inputs dodge. It's normal that he can do that. Oh, that animation though there. Of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, I'm getting tilted. That's very obvious, by the way. That, that animation is super weird, man. Man, somehow we managed to take this home. He made a big mistake with the other stamina parry. Good fight. Good fight. Very frustrating, honestly. Because he has palm strike all the time, and when you actually read the palm strike and <clears throat> fail to punish, it's it's obviously because I'm too slow. Probably, I think. On the guard break, because I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna get the shoulder bash on the side dodge. So I wait a bit and go. I, I, I don't buffer it perfectly, let's say. Because if I just dodge into guard break, <clears throat> I'm gonna get a shoulder bash out. Round we changed one. opponent, we're now facing a Valk called Jozu Punk. <clears throat> Let's see, a Valk without shoulder bash. Hmm, that was a parry. Oh, the Trish, you didn't realize. Uh-huh. Okay. Goes for Paris a lot, huh? But I don't want to stay on stairs. That, that, that's so weird. <clears throat> yeah. Am I gonna eat all of this? Oh no. Mm hmm. Nope. Oh, I'm eating all of those! I need to wait. Do I, do I have to read there or can I get a guard break regardless on her shield dodge? I honestly don't know because I'm, I'm so used to, you know, just shoulder bashing her when I dodge the shield crash or whatever her shield attack is called. Okay, if she goes for an heavy like she has, I can't, it seems. Hey. Early dodge. Hmm. <clears throat> so I have to read her twice. Okay, she stood still this time. Oh, honestly, unlucky. She did read my dodge there. She was just too far away. But it's frustrating when that happens. <clears throat> so, so far, how did she respond to the unblockable? Couple times, uh, stood still. No, sorry, actually, dodged early. Another time, stood still. Hmm. Dodges early, I don't think I can catch that timing. Maybe. Okay. Doesn't really go for Paris anymore. She did at the beginning. There you go. Did go for a parry there. Maybe expected a top light. Don't know. I mean, the thing with Walk is that even if you, like me, you know, I, I know there is a timing where you can dodge all of her stuff, and that's why your offense is kind of badish, let's say. But even for me, that I don't really know that timing, you know, I don't, I haven't now labbed this matchup at all. She deals very little damage overall. That's the thing. Okay. 
Good one. I like it. Ha! Ha! Ow. Oh my god, lights. Interrupt. Regrab. Third. <coughs> and it's a staring match because I don't get anything that can stop her. Uh oh. I can't open her up. I'm trying to weave a light into. <coughs> sorry. Into stuff. But every time I try, she goes for a uh, light herself. I mean, she did a bit round in this round. Five. Which catches me. And I mean, she's trying to probably cash and counter me. She's not really trying to, to catch my whiffing light. There you go. See, that's what she's doing. Didn't dodge this time. Okay. Nope. Ah. Uh. Oh, regrab? No. Hmm. Uh. I'm expecting a light there. Man, why does this happen? <laughs> oh, that's a parry, man. I gotta parry that. Ha! Aha! Aha! No, huh? Okay. Don't wanna fall down, please. Of course. Of course, she clips right through the tree! <laughs> man, I'm so dumb. I mean, I, th I think the tree would stop her somehow, but of course, they wouldn't, right? I mean, attacks go through that all the time, like shoulder bash, for example. Not not that tree specifically, but through this kind of stuff. Ah, rip. Round one, one more Vulin. We have a Shaolin, kind of yellowish Shaolin. Let's see. Hello, mister. I mean, yeah. It does have big reach, but that's a little too far, right? Of course I back dodge, because I'm dumb. I am dumb, because I feel like I can shoulder bash, but I can't. No. Oh, hello. Ha! Ah. Mistake, my Chinese friend. Didn't go for it this time. Zone! Into na. Okay. <coughs> No. Uh, even though I dodged early, side dodge. Oh, really? Huh. This time I got you, right? Of course I'm stupid and I don't go for the full one. Hmm. Okay. Man! <clears throat> there you go. We expected a light. Although a light didn't make much sense, in my opinion, in that situation. I think, I mean, <clears throat> it would have not killed. Warrant of Light is, what, 15? So it would have not killed him. And yeah, I would have not expected that one. Round two. Round two it is. So far, yeah, this guy is better than the other Shaolin, by the way. Mixing up his options to get into 
he stands much more. Kind of being predictable there, though. I can try a prediction party next time. Ah, uh, doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't have the stamina for the cheese stands mix up there. Okay, gotcha. Cause he fainted. Does this quite a lot. Mistake, I thought I would hit. Oh, weird animation, janky. I wonder if I could let that one go. Ah, why? I could parry that, Maggie. You're so dumb. <sighs> How fast are those chain ones? I'm, I'm unsure. <clears throat> are they 400 or 500? Hmm. This Shaolin looks pretty cool. Round three. I was so dumb. What 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 happened there? What did I hit? Oh, I mean, I went out of stamina. Big mistake. Big mistake. Okay. Oh, oh sorry, 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 sorry. Nope. It's, it's just the habit of it, you know, <laughs> just the habit. I, I didn't go through with it. I didn't get anything out of it. Now watch the comment go. It didn't count, it didn't count, Meg. Uh, I, I wanted a guard break there, please. <coughs> I wanted a guard break. <laughs> Man, there would have been so much damage, right? Uh, thank you. Yeah, that was super predictable, Mega. Super predictable. <laughs> All warnings, do. Top and block of an limited zone. Uh, I mean, it was nice of him to expect it, though. I, I could have went for, uh, for anything, I guess. I don't know. Maybe if I just let that one go, that would have been the less predictable option. What's the risk here? I don't know. It felt like the zone was safer. But then again, yeah, everyone does it. Spare the one. Mm. You get at the top heavy? Yeah, I think so. You get a top heavy here too. I'm dead? Oh my god, good one. <clears throat> good one, good one, good one. Didn't see the top light at all. I moved my guard, but I was too late. GG, GG. Well, I didn't realize there were so many Chinese heroes in duels lately. We are against Xiangul Tiandi. Let's go up here. Let's do this, my friend. Nope. Ow. Okay. Hmm. Fifteen damage. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Uh -huh. Don't want to stay in the corner. Thank you. Thank you. That's very nice of yours. Did we? Oh, I moved myself forward with it zone.
Palm strike. Oh no! <clears throat> I dodged. I expected him to palm strike. Gonna throw some garbage here and there. It's gonna be nasty. I think we got this though. Round two. How did he react to the top unblockable? I think he dodged. Yeah, dodged into dodge attack. What can I do to about that though? Can I like faint early and catch it? I'm un unsure. Hey. Oh, I bounce off the zone. That's bad. Mm, these Garbrooks in, Garbrook in neutral are gonna be troublesome. And I got a wall here. Yes. Hmm, weird option. Palm strike. Oh, I hate myself. Please. Gonna let this one go. I mean, he's, he has been showing weird options there. He threw a light earlier. So of course it's neutral compromises of guard breaks, pump strike, 400 milliseconds lines, the usual for Tiandi. Doesn't really go for dodge attacks much, probably because I'm not going Round myself for shoulder bash, so he doesn't see the need. The undead zones gives me quite some issues. Yeah, there you call it. Oh my god, Meg, what are you doing? That reached? Hmm? I, I don't think he expected it to reach either. He didn't even follow up properly. Oh, weird flicker. Good one. <coughs> I'm slow. I am still slow. <sighs> Zone. That reached well. I mean, I die with a palm strike here, so. Oh my god, that zone, I never see that zone come. Never. <clears throat> I'm still not used to the animation compared to Warden or other guys. Oh, and I hit this 20 damage. Round four. It also lunges forwards a lot, so I, I should be careful even when I'm like far away. You okay with fighting up here, man? Why not shoulder bash? You see, people wonder. Don't, uh, not using it today. Because people hate shoulder bash, right? <clears throat> you should play without shoulder bash, but as you can see, there's not much I can do. I can throw random attacks, right? This is fun. It is not fun. Even though shoulder bash is obnoxious to face, you want to be able to attack. Like this Tian is doing. He has options, you see? He can do stuff. Me, I'm forced to make this sort of risk, being very passive. Uh, would have caught him. There you go. Victory. I don't know. I don't know what he tried to answer there. So what did I do well this round? Hmm, interrupting with lights, I guess. Round five. Staying out of his distance. I don't know. I'm not paying too much attention. Hmm. Like crushing cards like the one. Ah. Oh. Full prediction there. The zone. I wonder if one light party kills him here. There you go. Good fight. Good fight. 
There was a sexy parry on his for under millisecond light. Interesting. GG, Shangul. GG. So, after these matches, I decided to play another one, like solo without recording, just to play a match with Shoulder Bash kinda to vent off. And even though there is no commentary, I decided to include it anyway in the video, so you guys check it out, and especially check out what the guy says after the match is over. I hope you enjoyed this video, wish you all a good day, and I'm going to see you all next time. Thank you. 